What's up gamers? Welcome back to another exciting Apex Legends video. Today I'm giving you an in-depth guide to master the ultimate combat you, medic, Lifeline. Got Let's you. do it. To understand Lifeline a little bit better, let's take a look at her kit and see what she can do. Starting out with her passive combat revive, Lifeline deploys a DOC drone to revive teammates and the dock drone will also deploy a shield and revive Lifeline's teammate, leaving her free to defend them. This is a great ability to have as a support legend when your teammates go down and being able to revive them and continue fighting is unheard of in Apex Legends or any battle royale out there. This allows for some unique gameplay. This also means that the drone will revive them faster than a normal revive because it's still lifeline reviving them. Onto her tactical, the DOC Heal Drone, also known as the Drone of Compassion. This little guy automatically heals those near it over time. This is an amazing tactical ability for healing teammates and yourself before, in the middle, or after a gunfight. Now onto her ultimate, the Care Package. Call in a drop pod full of high quality defensive gear. This is the ultimate support package in Apex Legends. If your team needs heals, shields, support items like attachment or armor, her care package has everything a team needs. Now let's look at some tips on how to play Lifeline. Lifeline is the ultimate support legend in Apex. There's nothing she can't do as a combat medic for your team and she should be played as such. That is the first tip, guys. Before Lifeline lost the ability to use heals 25% faster, I would tell you she was one of the most aggressive legends in the game. Now that her kit has been changed, she's more of a passive legend. This is important because in a fight, if a teammate goes down, Lifeline's main goal is to revive that teammate, period. But if Lifeline goes down first because she's being used too aggressively, then she isn't being used properly. She has become a more of a passive legend. Okay, and sometimes with the play style, you're going to have to adapt to this. You're going to have to learn how to play off of your teammates. You want to support them in every aspect of the game. And Lifeline doesn't have a lot of movement. She's not. She doesn't have the movement of Wraith, Pathfinder, Horizon, Octane, some of these other legends to keep up. So you want to be able to use her passively to sell help support your teammates in every facet of the game. Now, I'm not saying you can't use Lifeline as an aggressive legend. If you're able to get in and out of fights really, really fast, so get in, destroy some enemies, or deal enough damage, get back out and heal, and then support your team that way, that is a great way to use Lifeline aggressively. But in the end, she's still a passive legend and a support legend. If she goes down and your two teammates are up, then you have no way to help if one of them else goes down when you're able to just revive them and then continue fighting. It can be tough to adapt to Lifeline's play style since her kit has been changed. But in the end, if you slow things down, you'll find that Lifeline is a very, very good legend to use. Now let's look at her DOC drone. The drone lasts for 20 seconds and has a 45 second cooldown and heals up to a total of 150 health for you and your teammates. You don't want to waste her drone and there's a couple of different ways to use it. First, in the middle or after a fight. If you're in the middle of a fight and get hurt and need to heal, always drop your drone to heal your health bar while popping a shield cell or battery. This allows you to heal both simultaneously to get back into the fight faster. This also applies to your aggressive legends on your team. If they've gotten hurt and need to retreat, drop your drone and then cover them while they heal. Now, anytime after a fight, you should always drop your drone no matter what. Most players will have already armor swapped, so healing over time is a great way to help your team get back to full health while they continue to loot. It should be noted that if yourself and both your teammates are using the drone, depending on the health bars, the DOC won't be able to heal everyone equally. My tip in this situation is to use syringes along with the drone to maximize healing for everyone. When it comes to Lifeline's drone, there's a couple other things to take account for. 
One is that her drone does not last in the gas. It used to hang on into the gas so you could heal over time inside the gas. And now after two ticks, it does get destroyed. So it'll only help you for two health bar ticks and then it'll be destroyed. Also, it does not stack on top of caustic gas. So if you are in the middle of caustic gas and you do try to heal, it isn't going to heal you enough to get out of that. So I advise always staying away from both the zone and caustic gas if you can before dropping your drone. Now onto the revive aspect of her drone. Reviving an apex is pretty straightforward. And normally there are certain times and strategies of when to res and when not to, but not with lifeline. Anytime your teammate goes down, instantly go to res them and continue fighting. The trick with this is when you're resing is having the drone shield face the enemy and not against a wall, the opposite direction or anywhere else. This allows the shield to protect you from incoming fire. My tip on how to do this is whichever direction you're actively facing is the direction the shield will face. This works a lot like Bloodhound's scan. So whichever direction Bloodhound is facing and looking to scan is where he will scan. This is the same thing that applies to Lifeline's drone shield. A lot of players, when they see Lifeline resing, they try to kill that player, but the shield only blocks incoming fire. So anyone can walk through the shield just like Gibby's bubble. So my tip here is to use the shield like a Gibby bubble fight. Go in and out of the shield to lessen the damage taken and keep the focus on you rather than your down teammate that's being revived. And whenever you go to revive a teammate and your health road drone is available, always drop it. Because as soon as the teammate gets up, their health bar will immediately start to heal and they'll be able to pop a shield cell instantly. This will help them get faster back into the fight to help you and your teammate. It should be noted though that while you're trying to protect your teammate from being revived, if an enemy does destroy the DOC drone, it will cancel the revive instantly and your teammate will go back to being down. This is another reason to protect your teammate at all costs while they're being revived and using your shield effectively to help them get all the way fully revived. Now there is no cooldown on the revive drone. So if a teammate does get knocked, you can continuously revive them. Or if the drone gets destroyed, you can just tap your teammate to start the revive animation all over again. Now, once they've been fully revived and the animation ends, there's going to be a couple seconds of vulnerability or where your teammate has a chance to get away but this also happens to where they get knocked a lot so being able to constantly res your teammate with the drone is amazing ability for lifeline now keep in mind that the drone can only revive one teammate at a time so if both of your teammates are knocked you can use the drone on one of your teammates and then you yourself as lifeline can go res the other teammate just like a normal person could Pro tip here is to get the gold backpack on Lifeline the same way you would use it on Gibraltar. It's an absolute OP powerhouse pro tip. If you have the gold bag on Lifeline, every time she taps and revives a teammate, even when you're continuing to fight, once they get up, they're going to have two shield uh, bars and then half of their life, which is an amazing way to have them just instantly get back into the fight so they don't have to take the time to actually heal. So a gold bag on Lifeline is absolutely OP. It's the biggest pro tip that I have for Lifeline. On to Lifeline's ultimate, the care package. Not much to say here, guys, but it does have its uses inside of Apex Legends. It does have one of the longest timers in the game at six minutes or 360 seconds to be dropped down. And unlike the in-game care packages, this one does not get highlighted on the map. All you can do is hear it from a while away. So if teams are actually close and they hear a care package, they're gonna know it is a Lifeline's care package. The care package comes equipped with a lot of defensive items such as syringes, med kits, cells, batteries, attachments for your guns, helmets, and most notably the purple armor, which early game is a huge upgrade if your team is struggling to find good armor. This happens a lot if you drop capacitor on Kings Canyon with all the ultimate charge stations. There's a good chance you could come out of there with triple purple armor in the beginning of the game. Another great way to get her ultimate fast is to carry around ultimate accelerants, especially early on in the game. If you stack up a couple of these, you'll be dropping care packages left and right. So always be on the lookout for ultimate accelerants throughout the game. Now, when it comes to the mid and late game with Lifeline's care package, you're not going to need a lot of items. So you have to ask yourself if there is absolutely anything you need. For looting POIs and eliminating teams, you should have everything you need from a mid to late game standpoint. So there's not a whole lot of uses for the care package late in the game, but I know a couple ways that we can do it. Besides being a straightforward ability, there are some ways that it can be used strategically. One of these ways is cover. 
The care package is a large enough object to hide behind or get on top of. So if you're out in the open fields or your team is getting shot down from a particular direction, always call down the care package. It's a useful component to stand behind until you can plan out your next move. Another useful technique is to call it down to block doorways and use it to get to the high ground position you normally couldn't reach. This is a great way to use it in the end game depending on the zone by either blocking enemies in so they get caught by the zone or getting out of a building or preventing enemies to get into your building. It's a great way to block doors, especially if they've been blown off by a grenade or a throwable. One last unique ability with Lifeline is the extra loot she receives by opening blue loot bins in Apex Legends. When she opens them, there's a hidden compartment at the bottom which will open a couple seconds after the loot bin has initially been opened. This loot is typically always extra heals for your team such as shield cells, syringes, and maybe a throwable. So how does Lifeline rank among the competitors in Apex? In my opinion, Lifeline is a B tier legend and I have a tier list video that I'm going to link above detailing everything so make sure to check that out. Lifeline is positioned well in Apex. With a good pick rate and win rate, her support design is enough for any kind of situation, and being able to res and continue fighting is something we've never seen in a battle royale. Now, in ranked is where she falls short because Gibby is just better when it comes to being a support legend. His ability to bubble re res is just as fast as Lifeline, and it protects you longer. When it comes to pairings, there's no team Lifeline wouldn't be good on. Having a dedicated support legend with aggressive legends is a recipe for victory. Thank you guys so much for watching today's in-depth guide to Mastering Lifeline. If you guys enjoy these kind of guides on the channel, make sure to slap that like button. And who do you want to see me do a guide on next? Let me know down in the comment section. I really do enjoy doing these guides and want to cover every legend. And if you're new here and want to improve your gameplay, consider subscribing to the channel. For me, Warlug, as always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.